Hey folks, Engineer775 here with some of my favorite water pumping gizmos in the entire world. They're hydraulic ram pumps. You can see on the table behind me there's a Rife ram that I purchased about 12 years ago. I've used that. Um, I've just I've got it out of service now because I just put a new set of gaskets in it. Um, here that I'm holding is a homemade one. I've made probably five or six ram pumps uh, for myself and for other people. Um, I use these uh, for pumping water to our, our homestead for our cows, for our chickens, for our home, for our gardens and uh, pump thousands and thousands of gallons to the top of our property and then gravity fed down to different places. Um, there is so much. I could talk about ram pumps for days. Um, they're basically to know whether or not you can install a ram pump on your place you need to have a source of water whether it be a pond, a spring, an artesian well, or a creek, river you need some source of water that has enough uh, flow and enough elevation in order to run the ram. There are charts and tables in various places. RifeRam.com, for instance, has those charts and tables uh, to figure out what you could run, what size ram would work for you. Um, so many, I won't get into how many things that need to be discussed, but uh, um, a ram pump, the closest thing that you're going to get to a perpetual motion machine. Um, they run continually. Um, I am trying to build a ram. I have built a ram for under fifty dollars that pumps a thousand gallons of water a day, more than enough water for our needs here. And basically, it has two swinging check valves. Um, this is one that is that has run. Basically, you have a swinging check valve here, and you have a swinging check valve right here. And this is the waste valve, and this is the other check valve. And that's really the the guts of a, of, a, of a ram pump, the, the cheap ones. So you can find these valves for about six, seven dollars in a local hardware store. And um, this one will never wear out. This one might wear out after about a year, but five, six dollars uh, a year to pump a thousand gallons a day. Uh, it's a very small investment. I won't get into details of building one on, on this, this video. Um, stay tuned for that. If you have questions, if you want to know how to build a specific pump, I would be happy to show you, send you schematics, or give you links. Um, there's many different ways to build it. Uh, one of the keys, again, knowing the source, and then where do you want to take your water to? How high do you have to take your water to? And I will show you this one little tool that helps you figure, determine these things, and it's a CST Burger Site Surface Level. And uh, about $15 you can buy yourself, if you don't have the ability to survey your land, this thing will um, get you within a foot. I can be within a foot of accuracy over 150 foot in elevation. It's an amazing little simple tool, a way to do elevation. So you need to determine the source of water driving the pump, how far you want to pump the water up for use in your gardens, in your home, or for your animals. And, um, and then you've got the, the variables in between. Um, one of the key variables is the pipe that feeds the ram pump. It needs to be a metallic pipe. Why do I say that? A lot of people, you see a lot of PVC things out there. I encourage you to build whatever you do, do it in metal. Um, because the efficiency of these pumps is directly proportional to the speed of sound in the water in the pipe. And the speed of sound in a metal pipe is much faster than the speed of sound in a PVC pipe. You can build everything PVC, they won't work as well as doing it in metal. Once beyond the pump pumping the water, you can go to PVC. PEX, Schedule 40, Black Pipe, uh, you name it after that, that's not, that's not an issue. Again, I don't want to get into, <laughs> and you don't want me to get into the details um, of, of the pump. If you have specific questions, I will, I will load you up with details. This is a lot, of, a lot of fun for me. I really enjoy ram pumps. Um, uh, you know, man has pursued the, the holy grail of perpetual motion machines. This is the closest thing that I have found uh, for a, a machine that runs 24-7. Um, forever and until you know you do have to do a minimal maintenance on some parts to keep it going so well I guess that's it for now again send your questions in on hydraulic ram pumps and um, look forward to answering those questions God bless you I think I've got one million cycles on that swing check valve and the same on that this is the one that gets the wear and tear